Hi there, Michael here. Today we are counting down the 10 most influential immersive audio formats that have transformed how we experience sound in three dimensions. Before we get started, this list is completely subjective based on my experience in spatial audio production. Drop your own thoughts in the comments. I'm always interested in hearing which formats have made the biggest impact on your work. My criteria for this list, these formats had to make significant contributions to how we capture, mix or deliver immersive audio experiences, demonstrate genuine innovation and provide practical workflows for music producers and sound designers. And with that being said, let's check out number 10. Quadraphonic sound, the first home surround experience. Quadraphonic sound was a pioneering four-channel surround format developed in the early 1970s by companies like CBS and JVC. It places four speakers at the corners of the listening space, creating a 360-degree horizontal sound field around the listener. This was a revolutionary step beyond stereo and aimed to recreate a live concert hall experience at home. Despite its commercial failure due to high costs and competing incompatible systems, Quadraphotic Sound was the first consumer immersive audio product and laid critical groundwork for all future surround formats by providing listeners with immersive audio experiences. For music producers today, creating quadraphonic sound mixes is surprisingly straightforward. All you need is a digital audio workstation that supports at least four channels around output, like Reaper, Logic Pro or Cubase. You then position sounds in a 360 degree sound stage using your digital audio workstation surround panel and route tracks into front left, front right, rear left and rear right speakers. Then you export it as a four channel audio file or discrete tracks for each speaker. Think of it as stereo expanded to include sounds behind you and since quadraphonic sound is simply an open format from the 1970s, no special licensing is required to create content in this format. Mach One Spatial Audio Framework – Virtual Reality Audio Simplified Mach One is a spatial audio format and toolset specifically designed for virtual reality and augmented reality content. It was created in 2015 by entrepreneurs Dresen and Jacqueline Bosniak of New York City's Q Department Studio. It's often cited as the first audio format built specifically for virtual and augmented reality experiences. Mach One packages immersive audio into a multi-channel file using virtual vector-based panning to precisely control sound directions without requiring proprietary codecs for processing. Processing. It preserves the full quality of a surround mix while defining a sound field that can later be converted into any other format. What makes Mach 1 truly innovative is that it uses no runtime signal processing for spatialization. All positioning is handled via simple panning during production. This transparent approach ensures the creative mix translates exactly to the listener, unlike other systems that color or alter the audio. For producers, Mach 1 offers a bridge between traditional surround mixing and interactive 3D sound. You can use a standard digital audio workstation like Reaper to arrange your music in Mach 1's multi-channel format and then use the Mach 1 spatial software development kit tools to encode it. The process involves mixing audio into a set of channels with traditional panning techniques and then use Mach 1 encode to package those into the Mach 1 format. Being open means you can use it without special approval or fees and the software development kit is royalty free, making it accessible for indie creators. Eclipsa Audio – Democratizing Immersive Sound Eclipsa Audio is an open-source immersive audio format introduced by Google and Samsung in 2025 to make spatial audio accessible to everyone. Based on the Immersive Audio Model Format, or IAMF, developed within the Alliance for Open Media and released under a royalty-free license, Eclipsa allows any creator to use free tools to encode 3D audio scenes with sounds coming from around, above and below into a standard file that listeners can play back without any proprietary software. The format launched with immediate real-world support. YouTube allows uploading videos with Eclipsa audio tracks. And Samsung's latest TVs and soundbars are the first devices to support Eclipsa playback. Eclipsa Audio's key innovation is that it democratizes immersive audio. It is royalty-free and open where most other 3D audio formats are proprietary. This lowers the barrier for indie music producers and developers to create content with fully 3D sound. It supports features comparable to Dolby Atmos or MPEG-H like moving objects and providing spatial metadata, but without locking creators into a single company's ecosystem. 
For music producers, this should mean accessible tools with no proprietary login. As I'm filming this video, however, these tools are still in development, which is why this format is towards the bottom of my list. I will most likely make a dedicated video once Eclipser is more easily accessible. Notably, Eclipser is designed to leverage artificial intelligence for upmixing stereo tracks into immersive audio, simplifying the process of converting existing music. And being open source means no special license is needed. The format is specifically aimed at democratizing immersive audio for all creators. Aura 3D, introducing the height dimension. Aura 3D is a channel-based 3D audio format that introduced the height layer of speakers above the listener. Invented by Wilfried van Beelen, the CEO of Galaxy Studios in 2005, it was officially launched in 2010 at an Audio Engineering Society convention. Aura 3D adds one or two layers of overhead speakers to traditional 5.1 or 7.1 surround setups. A standard configuration is Aura 11.1, which uses 5.1 plus 5 height speakers and a voice of God top ceiling overhead speaker. This creates a vertical sound dimension allowing rain, birds or music reverbs to be heard from above, enveloping the audience in a hemisphere of sound. Aura 3D was the first modern format to bring the third dimension into cinema and music audio in a practical way. It demonstrated how adding a layer of sound above listeners dramatically increases realism. Sound like helicopters or ambiences would come from overhead, not just around you. A unique innovation was that Aura 3D audio could be encoded into standard 5.1 PCM for distribution and then decoded back into 3D, a technique called single inventory distribution. And this meant that compatibility with existing systems was ensured. For producers, you'll typically use a digital audio workstation that supports Aura 3D speaker layouts such as Reaper, Steinberg Nuendo or Pro Tools, although you will need Pro Tools to access the full potential of the development tools. You'll arrange tracks across traditional surround channels plus added height channels using the Aura 3D Creative Tools suite. After mixing, you encode the master using the Aura 3D encoder to create the final deliverable. While Aura 3D is proprietary, producers mainly just need the software tools without per-track licensing fees. DTS-X – Flexible Object-Based Immersion DTS-X is an object-based immersive audio format by DTS, introduced in 2015 as a direct competitor to Dolby Atmos. Like Atmos, DTS-X allows mixers to attach sounds to 3D coordinates in space rather than fixed channels, enabling effects like helicopters moving over and around the audience. It supports adding height speakers to traditional surround setups, like for example 7.1.4, and can adapt to different speaker configurations without requiring a specific layout. Developed by Digital Theater Systems, or DTS, DTS-X evolved from an earlier open platform called MDA, or Multidimensional Audio, and was officially launched in March 2015 with wide support from audio-video receiver manufacturers. DTS-X's innovation came from its flexible speaker-agnostic approach. It can work with up to 32 speaker positions and 11.2 channels on home equipment, but it isn't tied to a mandatory layout. It introduced unique features like dialogue control for home users, allowing listeners to raise or lower dialogue independently from other sounds. This is made possible by having dialogue as a separate audio object. This consumer-friendly feature set, along with backward compatibility with standard DTS HD tracks, set it apart while reinforcing the industry's shift towards object-based mixing in immersive audio. For music producers, the workflow involves using the DTX Creator Suite, which includes an authoring application and plugins that allow you to assign sounds to a 3D space similar to Dolby Atmos. In your digital audio workstation, you'd root tracks to the DTSX authoring tool, positioning them in the sound field and then export a DTSX master file. The format is proprietary, so you will need to purchase a quite expensive toolkit or work with a studio that has it, although no special approval is needed to create with it. Before we continue with number five, a quick but important reminder, if you're finding this deep dive into immersive audio formats helpful, hit like and consider subscribing for more special audio tutorials and reviews. Binaural Audio – 3D Sound for Headphones Binaural audio is a recording technique and playback format using two microphones arranged like human ears to produce a 3D stereo sensation for the listener. 
Typically, a dummy head with anatomically shaped ears captures audio exactly as a person would hear it. When then played back on headphones, the listener perceives sound source positions with exact realism. Instruments and voices seem to come from the front, from behind, from above and below, as if you were in the room with the performers. The concept dates all the way back to 1881, when inventor Clement Ader demonstrated the theatophone in Paris, a system that placed pairs of telephone microphones across an opera stage and then sent left-right signals down the telephone lines to the listeners' ears. Binaural audio therefore was the earliest form of immersive audio for music, predating surround sound by decades. It captures lifelike spatial cues, like timing, level and spectral differences between the ears that the brain then uses to localize sound, creating a fully immersive experience on just two channels. While its drawback is that it only works as intended on headphones, something that I've talked about a lot on this channel, binaural audio is experiencing a renaissance today. ASMR creators, virtual reality audio engineers and musicians seeking novel soundscapes all use binaural techniques to put listeners inside the sonic environment. For a producer, this is also often the easiest immersive approach because you can use any digital audio workstation with a binaural panning plugin. I recently did a video about my favorite binaural panners. If you are interested, I recommend checking that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. An alternative way to create binaural audio is to record live sound binaurally using a dummy head microphone. There's no license, binaural audio is an open concept resulting in a normal stereo audio file that's just specially mixed. Sony 360 Reality Audio – Inside the Music Sony 360 Reality Audio is an immersive music format for streaming that uses object-based audio to place instruments and vocals in a 360-degree sound field. This format notably brought immersive object-based audio to mainstream music distribution for the first time. Whereas formats like Dolby Atmos were initially movie-centric, Sony's 360 Reality Audio was from the start aimed at music fans and artists. It also introduced personalized listening. Sony enabled users to optimize the experience by analyzing the ear shape to improve the head-related transfer function used for binaural playback on headphones. By positioning sounds all around the listener with high precision, it creates an on-stage or in-studio feeling, pushing the industry towards spatial audio content for music. To create a 360 reality audio track, producers use Sony's 360 Walkmix Creator plugin inside a digital audio workstation. The plugin provides a visual sphere or 3D panner where you can place each musical instrument at a specific point around the listener. The process involves exporting your individual stems, positioning them in the 360 space and then rendering a multi-channel file with the positional metadata. While the Walkmix Creator plugin is commercial and actually quite expensive, there is no per-release licensing fee for artists and the format's distribution is handled via participating streaming services. And if you are interested in learning more, a while ago I published a tutorial on this channel on how to use the Walkmix Creator. Link, as always, is in the description. MPEG-H 3D Audio – The Universal Standard MPEG-H 3D Audio is an international standard for immersive audio developed by Fraunhofer with partners around the world as part of the MPEG standards. It was designed to be extremely flexible, supporting traditional channel-based mixes, object-based audio and higher-order ambisonics all within one framework. Created by the MPEG-H Audio Alliance and published as an ISO standard in 2015, it was developed to enable next-generation audio for Ultra HD TV and has since been adopted in broadcast systems around the world. MPEG-H 3D Audio introduced advanced features like user interactivity, for example letting listeners select alternate audio mixes or adjust dialogue versus music levels, and it provides adaptability to various speaker layouts, all delivered in a single bitstream. Its open, standard-based nature means it's not tied to one manufacturer, which encourages adoption across the industry. This means that for music producers and sound designers, MPEG-H offers tremendous flexibility. You can mix in object-based 3D, knowing the end user might experience it on anything from a soundbar to a virtual reality headset, and the decoder will render it appropriately. MPEG-H 3D Audio is the behind-the-scenes workhorse standard powering much of the recent immersive audio revolution. To create music in MPEG-H, producers can simply use the MPEG-H authoring suite provided by Fraunhofer. This suite includes a plugin for digital audio workstations that allows positioning audio objects in 3D space and defining metadata, as well as tools to export the final mix. 
in a supporting digital audio workstation like Steinberg Nuendo, which has a built-in MPEG H integration, you'd place tracks on a sphere around the listener, then export an MPEG H audio file or an ADMBWF master file. MPEG H audio is an open standard, so you don't need to pay a license to create content, and the production tools are available as a free download after registration. Ambisonics, Spatial Audio Pioneer. Ambisonics is a full sphere surround sound format that captures audio from every direction around the listener. Unlike conventional surround formats, Ambisonics does not send separate signals to specific speakers. Instead, it uses a clever speaker independent representation of the sound field, known as the B format. And this can be decoded into any speaker layout. With modern digital processing, Ambisonics has become extremely influential and widely used. It's an ideal format for 360-degree video and virtual reality, because the orientation of the listener can be accounted for by simply rotating the ambisonic sound field in software. Platforms like YouTube 360 and Facebook adopted ambisonics for spatial audio, so that as you turn your head or view around, the sound field rotates correspondingly. Ambisonic's innovative concept of a speaker-agnostic 3D audio format was far ahead of its time. It essentially foretold today's object-based and spatial audio techniques. Music producers can create Ambisonics mixes using flexible multi-channel digital audio workstations like Reaper. All you need is an Ambisonics toolkit or plugin suite. The open source IEM plugin suite, for example, provides free panners, encoders and decoders. The typical workflow is to mix in B-format Ambisonics. For first order Ambisonics, that means four channels, with higher orders using more channels for greater precision. Using an ambisonics panner, you assign each track a direction in 3D space, then monitor through a binaural decoder or over a multi-channel speaker array. The final mix is an ambisonics audio file, which can be decoded to different playback setups. Ambisonics is completely open, no license is required, making it very accessible for indie producers. And if Ambisonics is your thing, you should definitely subscribe to this channel, because I talk a lot about ambisonics around here. Dolby Atmos, the industry standard. I already know that many of my regular viewers might disagree with me, ranking Dolby Atmos as my number one on this list. But we have to acknowledge that Dolby Atmos is a widely adopted immersive audio format and is now a de facto standard for music and home theater. First rolled out in 2012 with Pixar's Brave, Atmos introduced the idea of audio objects. Instead of designing every sound to a fixed speaker channel, sound designers can tag sounds with spatial coordinates. During playback, the Atmos system renders those objects in real time to the actual speaker configuration in the theater or on the device. This allows for incredibly dynamic movements of sounds overhead and around the listener. Atmos systems typically use ceiling speakers or more recently also upward firing front speakers in addition to the usual surround speakers to create a dome of sound. By freeing sounds from the discrete channels, Atmos effectively lets mixers paint with sounds in three dimensions, yielding a more immersive and lifelike audio experience for the audience. Importantly, Atmos brought immersive audio to the mainstream, from blockbuster movie theaters to living rooms and even headphones. Its influence can't be overstated. Atmos opened the door for spatial audio in everyday media, making immersive music production and sound design a fast-growing field today. To create content in Atmos, you'll typically use the tools provided by Dolby or the ones that are built into your digital audio workstation. More recently, third-party authoring systems, such as Fiddle Audio's Dolby Atmos Composer, became easily accessible alternatives. You can even start for free. And if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll leave a link to a previous video of mine in the description below. Dolby Atmos is proprietary, but you as a creator don't need to directly license it. You just need to use Dolby's approved tools and deliver your mix through an aggregator or label to a service like Apple Music or Tidal. And there we have it, 10 formats that have transformed how we experience sound in three dimensions, from the pioneering quadraphonic sound systems of the 70s to today's sophisticated object-based standards. But I'm curious, which format are you most excited to work with? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more immersive audio content. You can also join our Discord server for a deeper discussion on spatial audio techniques. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.